Hey guys, it's me, Mario. Today we're going to continue Hawkite, Arrow of the Air. Chapter 5 First Glimpse. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing well. Let's get this started. <coughs> Chapter 5 First Glimpse Sam rained in storm as they reached the fork in the road once again. The golden ring glinted in his little finger. In the, inten the intense gilder light, it was dazzling. What do you think the ring's magic is, Tom? Helena asked, echoing Tom's own thoughts. I don't know, Tom said honestly. I don't feel any any different I don't feel any different since putting it on. He slid out of the saddle and lifted the silver amulet from inside his tunic. The finger of the the fingers on his injured hand were too numb to clasp it. He held it carefully in his palm and gazed at the edged map. One path had disappeared. The other, the one leading to farmland, glowed more brightly than ever. Tom stared intently at, his, at the tiny edged image of Hawkeye. How could he tackle this beast? Silver gave a confused bark. Tom? Helena said. She sounded uh, scared. Tom, where have you gone? Tom lifted his head. I'm right here, he said in surprise. Helena gasped. You... you... but, but you weren't there a moment ago, she said, looking confused. How? The ring. Tom guessed. He smiled. Now we know it's magic. When I'm moving, you can see me, right? When I stand still, I disappear as well. He held himself as still as he could. Elena's mouth dropped open. She looked from left to right. Silver neighed anxiously. You've disappeared again, she said. Tom moved his arm very slowly. Can you see me now? he asked. Still can't see. No, I can't I can't see you. Helena said with a shake of her head. Then Silver padded over to Tom and uh, sniffed at his ankles. Tom moved normally, reaching down to Ruffle the wolf's head. Elena's eyes sharpened and focused on him again. The animals weren't fooled for long, time, said Tom. I don't think I actually disappear. I just blend into the background, like a chameleon. Like a chameleon. He stood still again for a moment, looking down at himself. He could see that. His clothes had turned grayish. He looked over his shoulder and saw the exact shade, exact same shade of gray, on the on a stretch of rock behind him. He started to laugh. He could see how useful this might be in defeating the beast. Let's go, he said, seizing a handful of. Storms' mane and pulling himself up into the saddle with Elena. He wheeled the stallion around to. <clears throat> he wheeled the stallion around so that Storm was facing the right hand fork in the road. Hawkeye is waiting. This road twisted away from the village, heading deep into the farmland. The earth kicked 
up by Storms' hooves was... By Storms' hooves was heavy and rich. Perfect for growing crops. So why was there so little food in this part of the kingdom? It didn't make any sense. The tall green hedgerow had ended abruptly on one side of the road. It looked as if someone had torn it down and trampled on it. Did the beast do this? Helena asked, gazing at the broken hedgerow. Tom stared through the hedge. Tom stared through the wreckage of the hedge to the field beyond. Look, he said grimly, dismounting from storm. The field ahead of him was completely destroyed. The crops had been brutally torn up by the roots and scattered in all directions. Now they lie dying on the ground. The scene of devastation reminded Tom of a hurricane. Do you remember what that villager said about the wind blowing in on us? Said Tom. His eyes settled on the prone body of a farmer lying grumpled at the foot of a tree on the far side of the field. His head hung from the neck at a crooked angle. Even at this distance, it was clear that he was dead. The beast, Hawkeye, must created, must have created this wind. People are dying. We have to stop this now. Tom watched as Elena's eyes swept across the field. The wind had ripped up everything that they might be able to use as cover. Where is the beast hiding? She asked. How are we going to lure her out? And where will we be able to hide? We can't fight her in the open. Not if she controls this wind. We'll be blown away like feathers. Storm wickered gently in Tom's ear as Tom stared at the horizon. He could just make out a strange shape, hunched close to the ground. It looked like an enormous rock. Not for the first time. He wished he could... He still had the magical eyesight, granted to him by Aventia's golden helmet. But he had lost what... But he had lost that when he battled with stealth. Tom squinted in the bright light. The rock moved. He saw the outline of a beak. It was silhouetted against the sky, razor sharp and deadly. He felt a rush of terror and determination all at once. Hawkeye. There, he said, pointing. Pointing. Alna gasped at the beast shifted its position. Fiery feathers gleamed uh, evilly in the sunlight. Tom winced as the beast raised her ugly, bald head and gave a harsh, grating cry that seemed to shake the ground they were standing on. He, Tom swallowed. It's the biggest bird I've ever seen, he said. We can't, we can defeat it, said Elena. Only the wobble in her voice told Tom that she was on... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to drink and reread that. Sorry about that. <clears throat> what can we do? said Elena. Only the wobble in her voice told Tom that she was as nervous as he was. Tom touched his magic shield and belt. He may have lost the powers of the golden armor, but there 
were other skills he could draw on. The ember jewel in his belt from Tusk gave him extra special fighting skills. And I'm going to need all the help I can get, he thought to himself. Hawkeye stretched her mighty wings and flapped them lazily. They stretched across the horizon like a great flap slab of sheer rock blocking out the light. A strong wind whipped up across the field, almost knocking Tom and Elna to the ground. Elna cried out an alarm. Tom staggered and uh, righted himself. Gripping Elena's arm, he shuddered as he realized the power of the creature before them. Hawkeye had almost thrown them off their feet with the wind created from the flapping of her giant wings, and she hadn't even noticed them yet. What would she do when she knew she was being attacked? Tom felt a rush of fear. This creature was more powerful than even Epos or Spyros. The two great birds be the two great bird beasts he had def already defeated. He would have to be extra cunning to defeat her. A plan began to form in his head. He pulled Elena back behind the hedgerow. I think I know what to do, he said. But do you need to be brave? Elena smiled. I'm always brave, she pointed out. Tom wondered if his idea might be too much. Even for someone with Elena's courage. I want to use you as a lure, he said. He turned to look at his friend. Hawkeye will come closer if she sees a girl standing alone in the field. Oh, excuse me? She won't suspect a trap. With my new invisibility powers, we can use the element of surprise to attack her. But everything depends on you, Helena. Will you do it? And here is the two-page picture of, of Hakkaid in the distance and Tom and Elena planning a... Yeah, I can't speak. <laughs> uh, coming up with a plan to free Hawkeye. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll join me next time as I read chapter 6, The Trap. Well, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe if you guys are interested in more Beast Quest videos. Ugh. It's been a long week. <sighs> but I felt like doing two videos today, so I did that. Uh, my hair looks greasy. <laughs> well, hope you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you guys are interested in more Beast Quest videos. Right. I'll see you whenever. Bye-bye.